Greetings my friends, welcome back again to my YouTube channel and in today's video let's talk about this Game Gear by Sega. Portable video game system and the problem of this one, no power. Let's place a battery. All my batteries, six pieces are new but still no power. I'm going to turn on the power switch, check the power indicator and the LCD screen. There. It only blink once, that's all. Now let's check the inside part of this unit. What happened inside? First thing that I've encountered is the capacitor, the electrolytic, this one, this is electrolytic capacitors, it is leaking and it develops corrosion there. And also on the main circuit board, there are mainly capacitors, so I'm going to replace first the capacitors, I'm going to recap this one. So I'm finished recapping guys, I did not make a video pulling out one by one the old capacitors but here is the new capacitors. This is on the main circuit board and also I will share a tip in recapping in case you cannot find the exact value especially in the voltage like 6.3 volts then you can replace that with 10 volts. Don't use below 6.3, that's my tip and about the capacitance. If you cannot find one microfarad, then use two microfarad or the nearest value of the original capacitance. You can use 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9,
or 1.1 microfarad. That's the tip. Don't use far from the rated value of the capacitance or too low on the rated value of the capacitance. That's in the capacitance and on the voltage use higher than the rated value. If in case you cannot find the exact value. So this is on the main circuit board and this is the power circuit board. And I replace this three. And also, this pin configuration of the DC jack center pin is negative. And this is the amplifier section. And it uses TDA 2822M IC. This is the earphone jack and the volume control. Now I'm going to assemble all these parts and let's check if this troubleshooting works. Now let's check the unit guys. I have a baseball game. This is the power switch. Now it has a power and it has a display. There. Power indicator turn red. And I'm going to press the start. So anyway I'm going to turn on the volume. So this is the volume. Let's play baseball game. And by the way guys, on the left side or I mean on the right side it has a brightness control. There. This is the brightness. Now let's try to play again.
I'm out. So anyway, that's all how to troubleshoot no power. Hope this video helps and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more and more interesting videos to come. And as always, thanks for watching.